Deadly Tarantula Girl coming to you from my private Serpentarium tonight to bring you something a little bit different. This is a 100 layer challenge and tonight I'm going to put 100 layers of snakeskin all on top of each other and you guys are going to learn a little bit about each species as we go. Every 20 layers we will stop and take a look at another reptile and say hello to my special sidekick tonight, Koji, who is a five-year-old standard gray sugar glider. Scientific name, Pederus breviceps. Say hello, Koji. Okay, time to get started. <laughs> Thank you for all of your wise advice and support, Koji. This is 20, we're 20 high, 20 high now. Let's take a look at one of the reptiles that some of these sheds came from. This is a Python regius, commonly known as a ball python. This is an African species who has a lovely jungle pattern. This is a common pet store snake, although this specimen in particular is a beautiful morph known as a piebald. And he's out of here. Okay, moving on. This is an albino Burmese python. This is still a young one. This is one of the top five largest species. And this boy is gonna grow up to be very big. And you can see he's really bright in some areas and that's because he's actually shedding right now himself. Snakes don't always shed in one nice big piece like that and he kind of has a patchy shed right now. And so what that tells me is that he might need just a little more humidity in his cage. So I'm gonna get him taken care of so he can finish his shed and let's move along. We are now 40 sheds deep and kind of gotten a little lopsided and crazy, but I'm gonna try to keep going straight up the best that I can. Never heard of anyone doing this, and there's a reason why. It's not easy, but still very interesting. All right, let's see what I've got here. noticed some of those beautiful rattlesnake sheds and those belong to some of my baby Crotalus viridis which is a prairie rattlesnake and this is a lovely little baby that I reproduced myself and they are cared for by the tongs of midwesttongs.com I do not free handle uh, rattlesnakes in general. I do use tongs for safety and I really like these tongs because they are designed by snake keepers and they really are excellent quality and so make sure to check out their website at midwesttongs.com <music> Mm -hmm. 
this is a different species of rattlesnake and this is kind of your stereotypical rattlesnake that you de that you do see in the American Southwest. You see them in the Wild West movies a lot of times. And this is a Crotalus atrox, also known as the Western Diamondback. And they are quite beautiful. They are known for their diamond pattern, of course, the beautiful markings on their face, and the black and white banding at the tip of their tail. Wrangling with my tongs from Midwest Tongs. And he is ready to go. So this is a very special Crotalus Aatrox. You might notice other than his attitude problem, he is lacking melanin. He is an albino western diamondback snake. And uh, this is not an animal that I play with a whole lot, but it is one that I'm very proud of. Oh, you bonked your little noggin, mister. And so again, this is where my tongs and uh, hooks and my other tools come in from midwesttongs.com so I can very carefully care for my animals and make sure that they stay safe and that my team and I do as well. So you can see he's a little bit cranky today. Being on camera is not his most favorite thing in the world but I thought it would be exciting if he visited you guys anyway. Well, I hoped you guys enjoyed watching me do these 100 crazy layers of snake shed. This was fun to do. I personally like seeing their different sheds from the different species. They have different markings, as you can see. And uh, I put two little two little ones from the heads at the top because I thought that was funny. Kind of like the little crown at the top of the throne. But um, yeah, this was really fun to do. I think it was really cool. I have a whole lot more shed left. And so I was thinking about doing a giveaway of this 100 layers, but I just don't even know how I would ship it without it getting damaged. So if anybody has any good ideas, let me know. And if you're interested in claiming this as a prize, I will try to give it away if I get a thousand likes on this video. I hope you guys liked this one. For my regular viewers, this was something a little bit different. If you're new to my channel, if you like animals, then this channel is for you. I have all kinds of different videos, and I have playlists that are tarantulas and reptiles breeding. I have a cute and cuddly playlist where I showcase my miniature horses, sugar gliders, miniature pigs, and other cute little things. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to do something different and jump on this 100 layer bandwagon since I had all these sheds lying around. Hope you guys like this one and I'll see you again very soon.